Every Egyptian tomb discovery fills another missing piece of ancient Egyptian history. But one recent find could well contain a jackpot of pharaoh secrets. So far, weird things about the tomb have only led to more questions than answers. No matter what archaeologists eventually discover inside this thousands-year-old burial site, it's sure to shed light on an incredibly interesting period of Egypt. But to understand why the discovery is so important, you need to understand how and where it was discovered, and who it seems is inside the tomb. Today on Crunch, you will be learning the history of the men who had all the dirty secrets. Wait, the weird secrets of the pharaohs of the 6th dynasty. How the tomb was discovered in a strange place In late 2021, Polish archaeologists were digging into a dry moat that encircled the pyramid of King Djoser in Saqqara. Naturally, the team was hoping to find items such as jewelry or pottery that may have been accidentally lost in the moat thousands of years ago. That was when they stumbled upon something much more intriguing. It appeared to be a doorway. Pretty soon, they worked out that this doorway led to a tomb. The archaeologists decided to focus their attention on this doorway and set out the painstaking work of uncovering the entryway. Eventually, they had cleared away all of the millennia of rubble that had blocked the doorway. Naturally, it was filled with hieroglyphics. Soon, they had translated the inscriptions and could hardly believe what they said. The intended occupant of the tomb was highly important. The hieroglyphics stated that the person lying at rest inside the tomb was named Mechechu. They also said that his main job was to handle top-secret royal documents, ensuring that his pharaoh's rivals did not discover their most private information. In addition to this, Mechechu served as both a priest and an inspector of the pharaoh's estate, meaning that he likely received even more top-secret information. Therefore, the archaeologists had just discovered the doorway to the individual who knew more about the happenings of the royal court of Egypt than possibly even the pharaohs themselves. The archaeologists were keen to get into the tomb, but something was stopping them. Why the secrets have not been discovered Unfortunately, the archaeologists soon realized that the rock that made up the entryway was highly brittle. If they attempted to open the tomb, then there was a major risk that the entire thing would collapse, killing people and losing the treasures within forever. Instead, the archaeologists called their contacts at the National Museum of Warsaw to take drastic measures to stabilize the structure. However, the delay has allowed the archaeologists to identify some unusual things about the entryway to the tomb. Why is the tomb exterior unfinished? The archaeologists thought that there was something odd about the hieroglyphics and the other decorations on the exterior of the tomb. They had been clearly outlined, but they had not been fully filled in. At first, they thought that this might be the result of the entryway being buried for thousands of years. After all, in that time, the entryway would have had to sustain a lot of damage. But the more they examined it, the more they realized that time wasn't the cause of the odd-looking decorations. Instead, for some reason, the carvings on the outside of the tomb were unfinished. They had been fully outlined and sketched into the rock with black ink, but they lacked much of the detail that many other tombs of high-ranking officials feature. Basically, the images were more like an artist's sketch than a finished painting. And Michenju certainly didn't seem to have hired a sloppy team of carvers. One of the Polish archaeologists even said the following, the elegance of the lines and subtlety of the modeling rival the best reliefs. So, for some reason, the artists stopped crafting their work halfway through. The reason for this abrupt abandonment is unknown, but the expedition director Camille O. Karaskowitz personally believes that it was because Mecheju died after he had initially hired the artists to decorate his tomb, but before he had paid them to complete it. What secrets could be inside? The archaeologists believe that Mecheju lived during the early years of the 6th dynasty, around the year 2300 BC. Therefore, he would have acted as the person in charge of top-secret materials for pharaohs such as Teddy, Userkare, and Pepi I. There's a small chance that Mecheju served under all three pharaohs, although it is unlikely, as Teddy ruled for at least 10 years and Pepi I ruled for over 40 years. Still, it's possible that Mecheju took his role in during Tati's reign, served throughout Usakari's reign, and died during Pepe I's reign. 
If that's the case, then he may have top secret information in his tomb relating to all three pharaohs. And there's a lot of mystery surrounding these three pharaohs. Let's start with the earliest ruler that Macheju may have served under, Tati. No one can say for sure how Tati died. To this day, Egyptologists disagree on whether or not he was assassinated. Those who do believe he was assassinated say that his own bodyguards killed him. And they say that the person who paid these bodyguards to double-cross their pharaoh was none other than his successor, Userkare. But the earliest source that states that Tati was assassinated is an Egyptian priest named Manitho, who lived 2,000 years after Tati was pharaoh. Clearly, without an earlier source, no one can confirm the assassination story with certainty. As for Userkari himself, almost nothing is known about his reign. In fact, no one even knows why we know so little about his reign. Some say that he did something that seriously pissed off his successor, Pepe I. So Pepe I took his revenge by ordering Userkari to be wiped from all historical records. And to date, the only archaeological evidence that proves that Usakari was a pharaoh are two cylinder seals that have been inscribed with text proclaiming Usakari as a ruler. He appears to have ruled for a minimum of one year and a maximum of five years. Anything else about Usakari than this is hard to claim with any certainty. Unsurprisingly, the whereabouts of his tomb are also completely unknown. As a long and influential pharaoh, a lot more is known about Pepe I. But of course, this also means that there are numerous gaps of knowledge during his reign. Perhaps the most interesting is the fact that one of his consorts attempted to assassinate him. She failed, but no one knows which of his consorts attempted the murder. Additionally, no one knows who hired this consort to try and kill Pepe I. It could have been the mother of Usukare in an attempt to put one of her other sons on the throne, which would also offer a plausible explanation as to why Pepe I could have purged Usukare's name from the history books. But until any evidence of this comes to light, it's just speculation. After all, there would have been many other noble families who wanted to take the throne. When will the tomb be uncovered? The conservation efforts of Macheju's tomb appear to be going well. The Polish archaeologists have stated that an exploration of the interior is likely to happen soon. In fact, the exploration could happen as early as 2022. As the exterior was discovered in the fall of 2021, so expect any news about the exploration to come to light in mid-2023 at the earliest. It's tempting to believe that the interior of Macheju's tomb will prove that Tati was assassinated, that Userkari was the man behind the assassination, and that Userkari's mother tried to kill Pepe I. But that is not guaranteed to come to light. In fact, the director of the expedition, Camille O. Karezewicz, has even said that the occupant of the tomb may be someone other than Macheju. This theory works on the idea that another person heard about Macheju's unfinished tomb and decided to buy it for themselves at a discount. Basically, it would mean that the tomb was the equivalent of something that was lightly used on eBay selling for a great price. Naturally, the archaeologists hope that Macheju's mummy is within the tomb and that accompanying it is information that sheds light on the early days of the 6th dynasty. Even if someone else was buried in the tomb, then that could even lead to a whole load of information that the archaeologists had no idea they were on the brink of discovering. At the moment, the truth seems so close but so agonizingly far away. Thanks for watching Crunch History. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe.